Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Kindred Kitchen. I'm Pam, and V is behind the camera today. Hello. And we are the Kindred Vegans. Today, we are gonna be making our own Kindred Vegan Chicks Mix, which is our version of a poultry seasoning. And I know if you follow our YouTube channel, you have seen that we make our own seasonings, pretty much, you know, those combined seasoning packets instead of buying the packets we tend to make our own we've done the taco seasoning um what else have we done we've done tofu scramble seasoning yeah. we've done things like that and we've the reason done fajita, fajita fajita seasoning yeah. yep the reason we do that is because you know what's in it i mean the for the poultry seasoning it's not as important because most of those are clean ingredients but if you make it yourself you can buy the individual ingredients in bigger quantities and you can save so much money by making it yourself. So that is another money saving tip. But the next time you reach for a taco seasoning or a fajita seasoning packet, flip it over and look on the back. Those are full of fillers. Yeah. You know, they have, some of them have gluten in them, some of them have dairy in them, but they're full of fillers and loads they of salt. They even have MSG in them. Yep, which is the, to bump up the flavor and it's the salt have added salt in there so you want to be looking at do you hear me you hear me out there i know you hear me look at the back of that packet the next time you buy it and you probably will not be buying it again now i want to tell you to go down into the comment section and let us know if you have made your own seasoning whatever seasoning taco seasoning fajita seasoning poultry seasoning italian seasoning if you've made your own seasoning blend let us know down below and while you're there hit that subscribe button so you know when we're coming out with new videos and you won't miss a thing here on our channel mm -hmm. okay so let's get started making our kindred vegan chicks mix or our aka poultry seasoning mm -hmm. i hate the word poultry seasoning because it makes it sound like there's some kind of well, chicken you, in there or yeah. something it kind of tells you like poultry needs that much seasoning yeah so, really yeah i guess yeah. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna start. I have one quarter cup and one tablespoon of sage right here. And these are all dried and ground or crushed. I have a quarter cup of thyme. And we'll put all the description, we'll put all the ingredients and amount in the description, yes. so don't worry about it. Three tablespoons of marjoram, two tablespoons of rosemary, and those are the basic ones. Then I just add two teaspoons of nutmeg in here, two teaspoons of pepper, black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, and I only add two teaspoons because I feel like you can add salt at the table or you can add salt at the end. You should taste it and then add your salt. And then two teaspoons of a celery seed. Now because we have the salt, pepper, celery seed, nutmeg in there, you, you need to shake it up before you use it each time. I add it to a jar and then give it a good shake and it's ready to go. And then I will just label it label. here and put it in my cupboard. So I have it, you know, when I want it. And sometimes I will add this to soups and soups, soups and stews, <laughs> you know, things like that. Oh yeah, that smells really good. Yeah, that's gonna be a really good addition. Yep. I like that. But I will add the, the chicks seasoning, chicks mix to soups and stews and things that require, I mean, not a heavy taco seasoning or something like that, but you just want the milder yeah. flavor. And I think it goes good in soups because the nutmeg goes good with the creamy. Yeah. You yeah. know, it, it just adds the perfect um, flavor to anything creamy. Yeah. So. so I hope you liked this video and I hope you give it a try or try one of our other seasoning mixes, the taco seasoning or the fajita seasoning. I will link those um, different seasonings down below in the description box as well and give us a thumbs up and share this video with someone you know that might like to make their own seasonings and we will catch up with you next time make sure you go over to kindredvegans.com sign up for our newsletter give us a comment in the description box if, box if you're struggling and we will get back to you and bye for now